What's up, fam? It's your girl news reporter, Mary. Them dads, Tony, Mary, and Lee. I don't even know why I say fam. Mary McMyers, this is going out for you. I don't think I got no family. Y'all my family. My real Mary McMyers, the ones that's been fucked over all their life and shit. This video for you, man. You know, it's the wrap-up portion of the video. September 8th. 2019, so they say I'm in Chicago in my little trap ass fucking house and shit with all my evidence. I thought pretty much demolished all my fucking haters with they no faith base ass and shit. Ah, oh, man, I just did a video and flipped the Bible pertaining to my, all my exes and posted the NWA, you know, I ain't the one video link to go with the video I made talking about my exes and the bible scripture whatever it was let me see if i i ain't even trying to remember no more i hate to sound crazy but psalms 58 and uh 59 because you know i like to come from behind you understand what i'm saying meaning you know i like you know when people think you know i'm slow and i catch up to their ass and pass them up and stuff so 58 would be 85 the year the color purple came out you understand what i'm saying and 95 or 59 would be 95 the year i gave you know open my vocals on cassette tape and you know through a copy of it there was three cassette tapes and through a cop through three three of the copies in the garbage can in hyde park you know when i was staying 5419 south woodlawn apartment 1a with my ex-girlfriend and her son Donna Marie Evans and Mario Durrett Evans. And at the time, I didn't know that Elijah Muhammad house or mansion was right down the fucking street. And Malcolm X house or mansion was right across from his, not too far. You understand what I'm saying? Didn't know all that. But that's how the devil works. You understand what I'm saying? This shit is crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't even know how to fucking call it no more. They said, uh, we, let's talk about the good old days in Chicago. Now, back in the day... They had Fun Town on 95th and Stony Yard. All my real Mary McAmyers, you know I ain't lying. We used to have fun in the city. Now it's just fucking gloom and doom and shit. It's supposed to be goddamn September. It look like motherfucking, you understand what I'm saying? Look how gloomy it look. But the only thing that's keeping me, you know, happy is this vine in front of my window. It wasn't there two years ago. You understand what I'm saying? But it's there now. You know how the, 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 the bricks on the building be growing a vine. I think this is my higher power way of saying, hold on, baby. Christmas is coming. I, I hope so. I hope so. I, I really do. I really hope so. Did you see it? You understand what I'm saying? You know, because I've been catching hell, man. All my life I had to fight. And Oprah knew that shit, man. She was really trying to do me dirty, her and my ex-girlfriends. I'm like, damn, what the fuck, man? This is why I couldn't be the girl that I wanted to be because they wanted me, you know, as they man so they can beat up on me, they boyfriends, and, you know, this is fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? But it used to be fun town on 95th and um, Stony Island and stuff. You know, you can go there and, you know, it was like a little amusement park or whatever that every weekend you could go or whatever. You know, they didn't took that. It used to be, you know, a show in the hood, like on 79th and around Cottage Grove, you know, the movie theater. It used to be a skating rink on 63rd from where I'm at, not too far from here. You understand what I'm saying? Man, and it used to be a couple of them and stuff. And then most importantly, it used to be a game room, you know, or a game machine in every store you can, you know, play your, look. It used to be a game room downtown. You know, ain't nothing in the city no more, man. Nothing but gloom and doom and shit. And thieves just... The only thing left is me. And I'm sick of the city, to tell you the truth. I don't want to leave, but goddamn. This my year. I don't know. Come next year, I'm gone, nigga. Weather breaks, shit. I don't get shit for Christmas, man. Real so. Look, they got... I picked this out off of uh, in Hyde Park or whatever. It's called the Hyde Park Used Book Sale is coming, and we want your books. They already got my shit. You think you can give it back? Can I get that for Christmas? Can I get me back? Can I get all my vocals and stuff that I, you know, so freely gave to the public, hoping they would do the right thing by me and stuff, which, in fact, they did not. 
They did not. Can I get my book back? Can I get my writings back? Can I give the stuff that my higher power gave to me to give to y'all low life ass motherfuckers? Not you, Mary McAmyras, but the ones that fucking goddamn it talking about we gonna run on and see what the end gonna be. It ain't looking good. Anybody go down Obama Drive in Chicago? It's a uh, it's a cemetery right across the street. On Obama Drive, you know, I think when you get to Halstead, you will see it, I think, 119th. I forget the name of the cemetery or whatever. You know, I'm sick of this shit. But one day I was walking down Obama Drive, and I looked over, and I seen some reindeers. You understand what I'm saying? And they was feasting this shit. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know what they was eating on, but it was enough of them to let me know something ain't right. So I told this guy, I said, hey, look at the reindeers, you know, for real. So that's why I keep the reindeers on my wall and that's why i got a reindeer you know what i'm saying there's a deer right there on this spread or whatever that i got from uh catholic charities downtown in chicago you understand what i'm saying because look rudolph the red nosed reindeer must have got tired of his friends fucking him over and god was like you know what i'm gonna handle your lightweight and you gonna run this show and that's where we at now i've been running this show for a while now to let motherfuckers know I let all my so-called friends go on back to their fake-ass motherfucking friends. Because they, they, they don't want a real friend. Motherfuckers don't want real friends no more. They just want motherfuckers that are, uh, you know, be yes-mans and, you know, yes-girls or whatever and stuff. I don't like real motherfuckers. What happened to Mary J. Blige's real love and all that? You understand what I'm saying? What the hell is going on around here? Y'all have totally lost, you know... Contact with the real world, y'all matrix ass motherfuckers. Snap out of it. It's the blue or the red pill. What she should have did was just took them both or not at all. You understand what I'm saying? What the hell, man? I can't make it up, man. I'm just saying. I don't know what to say. Today, tomorrow, I'm supposed to be my best friend, supposed to be best friend, Dwayne Lewis birthday, and my so called best friend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, the day we supposed to have met. On his birthday and stuff. Now, mind you, I was trying to prolong that shit for six goddamn months and stuff. Me even getting to know her. You understand what I'm saying? Because I was about my money. I was by myself. I didn't want to be bothered. Because every time somebody come in my life, it's just a fucking drag. You know what I'm saying? Trying to drag the queen, which is me. I have upgraded to empress, though, because too many queens, nigga. I mean, step your game up. I'm an empress now. You understand what I'm saying? For real. Fuck. <laughs> You know, can I stand out from, a, you know, the fucking same old, same old shit? That's what they don't like about me. They're like, uh, you too cool. But yeah, because, look, it's too many of you motherfuckers doing the same shit. I can't even listen to the gospel on the radio. Sound like shit. I'm my real Mary Michael Morris. You know, you, when I put something on, nigga, and it just flow, it bring tears to your eyes or make you want to go to church. Now, I'll be like, who can I kill for real? You understand what I'm saying? See, it's all about the frequency and the the stuff that's in the food, GMOs and all that bullshit. You know, it fucks up, you know, and they wonder why motherfuckers walking around like zombies about to lose their mind. They didn't let all the motherfucking mentally ill people out. They looking at me like a fucking shiro and shit. Save us, save us. I done went there to, you know, represent with them and stuff, but goddamn, come on now. Y'all need to get it together. Too much money was made for you motherfuckers. All the Jordan money, all the AANA, and that's why they call it NA Narc Cardis Anonymous. The motherfuckers tricking like a motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Narcs. Yeah, so NAAA, all the, you know, all the fucking A's and alphabets, letters and shit. Yeah, you know, the fucking Oprah money, the goddamn, what happened to the motherfucking goddamn Angel Network money, Oprah? All that fucking spare change and shit. Motherfuckers donated and shit. Come on, man. Y'all robbing God for real. Come on. Where's my mail at? I know somebody had to write me and say, you know, Mary, you didn't get the mail? Yeah, no, I didn't. Shit. Just like I didn't get it on my sweet 16th birthday and shit. They probably accumulating it or whatever and stuff, hoping I die so they can. These niggas is thieves. For real. I didn't get shit for my birthday this not a Mother's Day card, not a birthday card, not a Father's Day card, not a fuck you card, nothing. How can you be my friend and not even acknowledge my good works, my good deeds? You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do my worst enemy like this. Mary McAmyra, don't ever be like that. Don't ever sell out 
for no amount of money. Because they make and burn money and shred it all at the same day. You understand what I'm saying? It's bigger than that. They want your mind, body, and soul. What they say, Illuminati want my mind, body, and soul. So I'm giving them a piece of my mind. They stole my soul when they stole my eggs when I was homeless. And they've been cutting on me since birth. You know what I'm saying? So they got a piece of my body as well. You understand? But, hey, I'm still here. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know how much longer. I'm just saying. Because, you know, for some reason or these motherfuckers think I'm soft and shit. For real. And I'm really fed up with this bullshit. They know better. All the motherfuckers that railroaded me, they knew what they was doing. So... This is the wrap-up portion. I'm trying to end this shit. I think I done pretty much slayed everybody, but I know it's somebody on the low sneaking, hating and shit. Haters on the low, you know. You got to watch out for them little ones and shit because they be creeping up and shit. Uh, they be creeping for real and shit. They start them young now. So all you old motherfuckers this past 12 years and shit, if you got hair on your private part, nigga, you too old for these motherfuckers that I'm playing with, meaning that's playing the game, not... With babies and, you know, children with no hair. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Stay focused and don't lose sight of, you know, reality. Because the reality is, you just as good as dead as I am. For real. They don't need you motherfuckers either. For real. So, you should have stuck it out with me. We could have stuck together. And we all could have been, you know, there's what they say, power and numbers and stuff. Now, I'm, I'm out here like a fucking renegade by myself and shit. And I outlawed too. And I ain't killed nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yet. And I'm hoping it don't come down to that. So don't try to walk up on me like that fucking Mexican yesterday. I was by myself. Motherfucker just walked up on me trying to, you know, in front, in front of his buddy and shit. I said, man, I pulled out my mace on them motherfuckers. And these dogs, these motherfucking dogs and shit, y'all better get y'all mace. Because they don't even have leashes on these motherfuckers. One of them, white guy. He's sitting down holding a pit bull talking about, you know, what you need your mace for because you ain't got no fucking goddamn chain on that motherfucker. And somebody just walked in front of me to let you know who the fuck I am. And I'm not playing that fuck shit. I ain't no shit, nigga. Mm -mm. We ain't going for that shit no more. Y'all know who the fuck I am by now. I don't give a fuck if I don't get no hits on YouTube. These bitches hear me right the fuck now, nigga. And you can best believe my every word is being calculated, typed, and printed, bitch. For real. Not you, Mary McAmyris. Just the haters who don't believe in shit. Real talk. So, yeah, if you got my book, send it to these motherfuckers. Matter of fact, send it to me. You understand? I would love a copy of my Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors Plus One song book along with the um, CDs that I put uh, with the uh, PDF file cassette book you understand what i'm saying not cassette but cd book yeah i put my heart and soul in that shit send it to yeah send it here send it right here 6210 south kimbark apartment 308-606-37 address it mary lee davis you ain't got to put your information on the top just send me my damn book can i get that out the deal i mean i did write it and i ain't got a copy of my own shit and then they closed down my P.O. box that I had for over 10 years because that showed a sense of responsibility even through the adversity that I was going through that I was able to maintain paying on it. So they wanted to make sure they fucked me out of that. You understand what I'm saying? They're not going to be happy until one of my Mary McAmyras kill their ass and shit because I ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I got too much to lose first and foremost and I don't want to lose a Mary McAmyra on account of a hater. So I know they're going to push y'all and rub y'all the wrong way. But just smile it off and say, Jesus loves you. And God will kill you. Okay? <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. She got a new supporter, Mary. Them that's between the Mary and Lee. Hey, if they don't give us no fun, guess what? Motherfuckers start killing and shit. I guess that's the new fun. Killing motherfuckers. Just don't kill me, motherfucker. Because if you kill me, we all going to go any damn way. It's the bomb, nigga, for a reason. For real. I invest in war, too, nigga. Y'all love guns and shit? One motherfucker had family. Dollar told me she would shoot me and shit. I'm thinking like, bitch, your, your gun ain't gonna reach heaven. Because I'm gonna drop a bomb on your ass when you do. With that, peace!